you be a good boy? Yes, you're a good puppy. Yeah. It's okay. We're doing a, uh, I'm doing a quick update video um, on our TPMS system. If uh, you watched our video of when we took our uh, kind of our maiden voyage, our very first trip with our truck and our uh, solitude, um, actually I'll link that in the uh, in this video here up in the upper right hand corner. Um, but you will know that we had trouble with the TPMS system. Now when we arrived uh, to uh, the campground where we were staying for a couple days. I actually took this unit and I reset it and uh, I changed the parameters on it because they were, they were, I think they may have still been set for our last RV. And on the way home, it didn't have any trouble at all. Um, right now you can see they're all showing 129 uh, PSI. And so it didn't have any trouble at all, but so I'm a little wondering if I should change, you know, replace it or not. But while we were at the campground, we actually ordered a new one. And, uh, but uh, it did work okay on the way home, but, uh, this is what I got in the mail when I arrived back uh, to where we're staying. Uh, we ordered the, uh, let me open it up here for you. This is from, uh, from Techno RV. This is the TST, TPMS system. Um, a lot of initials there. And um, we did get the 10, uh, 10 sensors. Here's, here's two right here and two more here. I guess there's six in the box. But we're going to open this up. We're going to show it to you. And um, we're going to get this installed. All right, so let's start getting these things out of the box here. Um, got two of these here. These are uh, the sensors, of course, two of the sensors. And the, the sensors I have on the one um, I have on the, our rig right now uh, look a lot like this. I don't know what makes these different than another one, but obviously comes with a little uh, tool there to be able to, um, to put them on and to lock them with these lock washers. We won't open that up just yet, but um, just a little tip also, don't lose this tool. I, th I know this one has tool two tools and there might be one actually in the box but but keep one of these handy uh when i put when i had this one and i installed it uh, that came with a nice little tool or a little funny little tool like that and i i actually lost it or i threw it away I, I didn't think i would need it but then when it came time to take them off i didn't have the tool and it made it a little little hard to to take them off but uh, just keep that tool around so i got two of those got a nice little brochure there let's pull this unit out of the box nothing else in that box but uh it looks like a nice uh nice packaged item here really um let's open it up and see what's inside now, i've heard a lot of good things about this unit um a lot of good reviews people say just get the tst and be done with it um and uh you know i'm 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 glad this mod this screen is not real big um i didn't want a big screen something else just in the way there in the truck and uh this doesn't look too big uh looks hopefully looks like this is the front of the rv or the truck and this is the rv back here i think it'll do 24 tires all together um, obviously we don't need anything like that but um yeah here's the other six so six of them here of the of the uh sensors and then two more here so six for the truck and then these for the rv but um, we'll put that aside there it's like you get a nice little uh, clamp here to put it in the and I hope this this actually will will sit somewhere nice uh, in the truck rather than you know I just don't want it in the way I want it tucked away out of the way uh, I don't want it to be a distraction I want to be able to look at it when I want to look at it and then put my attention back on the RV so nice little stickers here to kind of tell you uh, what's what uh, where you put your sensors um, let's open this up here this is the repeater I believe um, you once you get all the sensors installed and uh, you have this in the truck this repeater you run this from your battery uh, somewhere between the truck and the trailer somewhere in the middle there and this will pick up the signal from the sensors and then send the send the signal from this repeater to the actual uh, monitor itself so I'm um, not sure how long that wire is um, hopefully it's hopefully it's about uh, six or eight feet long it doesn't look really that long to be honest though uh oh here's a nice little silicone type uh type of stand I set it in like that it sits in there too it kind of grabs it. it doesn't just sit in there it's nice it kind of sits in there like that and holds it so that actually might be might be a nice option to do use that but 
we'll see. I know at least I've got two options now. That's good. Um, this looks, well, there's, there's two more wrenches. Uh, we got all kinds of wrenches now. Um, and then there's the lock nuts. Uh, looks like a charger for the unit. Um, I, I believe you can charge this up and then it'll go for several hours uh, rather than having to leave it plugged in. Because once again, another wire just going down to your accessory. Um, I don't like that. I like to keep things nice and clean. So uh, just a USB um, connector wire there plus a, a 12 volt um, adapter there. So it looks like a nice little unit. I mean, it feels good. Um, I hope, uh, hope it'll work real good for us. I've heard nothing but good reviews about it. So we're gonna get this installed. All right, so I'm gonna put on these uh, TST sensors on the tires. I already put one on this one up here. Um, when I, this is my old one here. And when I take this off, you'll probably hear an alarm go off. Um, I have my, my old monitor behind me here. So it's got a lock, lock washer, lock nut, just like the TSTs do. So I'll take this off. I'm gonna take off the old nut as well. Now the nuts are are about the same, but this one this one looks brass, so I'm gonna use that one instead. You hear the old alarm going off right now. And truthfully, I think it's working fine, but I just for peace of mind and um, to have the ten sensors on the truck, six on the truck, four on the trailer. I'm gonna go ahead and just replace them all. So I'll put this. So I, yeah, I just put that on there. That nut washer. That. Not, not a washer, but nut. And then put this on pretty snug. And then, see, once again, I told you, you want to keep this tool around. You don't want to lose it. Because when you put this on, it's, it kind of comes at a funny angle. And you'll be glad you had it later. So there's two of them on. That one there. And we did that one already. So I'm going to leave the monitors right there. It's not reading anything yet. But uh, after we get them all on, I'm going to try to... Uh, and link it up all right i'm on the driver's side or utility side whatever you want to call it you can't really see the nut here but i'm hoping this tool just catches it and it did i'm glad they're the same size so let's take these off the old ones and these are um, solid stems also you could put these on solid stems or you could put them on the flexible stems but these are the solid ones uh, they have these that are, are flow through where you can put these on there's a there's a valve to be able to put air in your tire while this is on and you have to have the solid uh, metal uh, stems in order to be able to do that, but this you can do either way. I didn't opt for the ones with the uh, flow through only because on the truck um, they'd be a little awkward because uh, you'll see when I put when I put these ones here on the truck you'll see it'd be it'd be difficult to have the flow through system on there. It's a little tighter, but this, this, this is a pretty simple operation, really. Just put your brass nut on, back it on all the way. And then tighten that on there good. This one's way down here. Um, I took off the cap already. A little nicer caps. Um, it looks like there's a, like a pressure thing on it actually. I, I haven't seen these before, but I took it off and put this brass. This is where our wrench is gonna come in handy. Got our brass nut on there. I'm gonna put the TST sensor on there nice and tight. Okay, it feels good. And I'm gonna back that screw right into the sensor. I'm 
Well, as you can see, if you had a regular wrench to get in here, it'd be kind of tough. Actually, this is a little tough as it is. I'm not sure. I feel like I got it on there good, but you just want to make sure you don't want to lose one of these sensors, obviously. <clears throat> Try and get it a little better from another angle here. And the sensors are on pretty good. These are more like anti-theft. Sorry, it's not going as smooth as I was hoping. I just want to make sure I'm getting a good bite on it. Actually, I can try and take it off. It's not coming off, so I think I got a good bite on it. Let's go to the next tire. Got the next one's the front tire. This one actually is up here. Dually, um, we've got this one here for the outside tire and the inside tire. I believe the uh, the valve is facing the inside, so I'm gonna have to get under there. But let's get let's get this one on. This one looks like it should go pretty good. Okay, for some reason, I thought I was gonna be able to go onto the opposite side of the tire there and get to that uh, valve stem, but that wasn't happening. Obviously, the, I wasn't thinking that the valve stem was gonna be right here on this side. And I've been working to get my hands in here to be able to reach the stem, and I've been able to get to it, reach it, touch it, but I've just not been able to um, actually be able to get that sensor on there and so um i can't even find this find the valve right now but i just cannot do it i cannot get it in there so i'm gonna wind up taking this in uh to a tire center to see if they can take this tire off for me i know i can do it um i have a jack to be able to put under there. i like the floor jack though to be able to put under there to keep it give it more stability but I have a jack, a small bottle jack to be able to put under here, lift it up, take these, take this tire off and do it myself. But I called them up um, and they said it would, they'd be able to do it pretty quick. So uh, I'm gonna do that. Well, lesson for today is uh, sometimes you need help. And I brought um, my truck into Tire Kingdom here. You see it in the uh, background there, here in uh, uh, Bradenton, Florida. Um, I was not able to get the last two TPMS monitors, uh, sensors on the back of the tires, uh, on the inside dualies. Um, as you saw in the video, it just was a nightmare trying to get in there. And I called this place up, told him my situation, and actually the gentleman I spoke with on the phone uh, told me that he has the exact same um, uh, TPMS system on his truck. And so he understands the situation, he understands how difficult it is to get in there. He said, look, I'll do it for 20 bucks. So. Sorry for the wind. Uh, noise, but here's the truck and um, it's it's uh, going to be get taken in here in just a few minutes to get the TPMS on there. There's the truck in there Getting the work done to it <clears throat> They're just taking off the tire and putting on the TPMS Should be a quick job done So it's time to install the repeater um, in the um, in this bay here where the batteries are and the generator. Um, obviously, you got to hook this up to 12 volt with here, the positive and the negative. And I was thinking about taking this battery cover off and then uh, just connecting it that way. But I've got a lot of connections right here. I'm probably this is positive, so I'm gonna probably I'm gonna connect to that. And then uh, I'll ground, I'll probably use a, a self-tapping screw and uh, I can ground right here or I can actually ground up here somewhere. And then just install it right here um, on the wall. Probably use some zip ties to be able to secure it a little bit to let that way. Um, 
or I may not even need to even secure it to the wall. I could probably just zip tie it right up there. So we're gonna get that started. We'll show you. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. I'm back. Um, I, I got the positive hooked up here. I put a self-tapping screw down here for the ground and just ran the wire up here. Just kind of snaked it through here. And you see the light on right there. Um, I just zip tied it to that, um, that other cable. You see it blinking, that means it's working. It's uh, sending the signal every so often uh, just to the, uh, to the monitor. And so it seems to be working real good. And so very happy with this. I didn't have to take this off and uh, keep things clean. Um, I could clean this up here a little bit, but I'm just gonna leave it right now. And then um, one day when I'm in here doing some other work, we're gonna add some more batteries and things. Um, I'll get that cleaned up a little bit, but just wanted to show you how that worked out. All right, everybody. So the repeater is in. Um, I have all the, the sensors installed on the truck and everything's working good. So very thankful for that. Um, we'll we've taken this truck out and the uh, trailer in about another 10 days from now. We'll let you know how that goes. But thank you so much for watching this video. I mean, sometimes, you know, you hope things will go just real simple, real mm -hmm. easy. Uh, but sometimes you need help. And uh, I needed help today uh, with getting this TPMS on. So I'm so thankful for the tire company for helping me out with that Kingdom Tire. But uh, please subscribe to our channel. If you haven't done that, please do that right now. Just hit that button, subscribe and like this video. We'd appreciate that also. And also hit that notification bell. That way you'll get notifications when we do our next video. So thank you again for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye.